what's going on guys back at it again with another video here for you guys on the channel so as you guys may or may not already know recently playstation had an event where essentially they showcased a lot of things prior to the release of you know of course the new playstation 5 and along with that event at the very end there was an announcement essentially giving out the prices of both the digital edition and the regular disc version of the playstation 5 needless to say it was a great uh, thing for me personally, but uh, the internet as a whole, mainly because it was a great deal. It was very competitive towards Microsoft and everything like that, you know what I mean? And ultimately speaking, I think most people got on board with the PlayStation 5 if they weren't already on board with the PlayStation 5. Immediately following, though, mayhem ensued very very quickly and it's really unfortunate because the event that I was talking about here a second ago was arguably one of the better events that you know Sony managed to pull out of their you know their 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 hat it was such a great event a lot of great uh, announcements uh, especially at the end with God of War 2 but even with the event being as great as it was what happened immediately after was one of the most headache inducing situations I have ever experienced when it comes to gaming in general. Not actually gaming, but like in the gaming sphere in general. What I'm referring to is a tweet that was basically put out by PlayStation, by Sony, saying that pre-orders were going to start as early as tomorrow, of course, at the time it was uh, the date of the event. Today, the 17th, you guys are watching this on the 18th in the morning, but today on the 17th was the day that the PlayStation 5 was gonna be open for pre-orders. Long story short, that's not exactly what happened. Sony did put out that tweet saying that the PlayStation 5 was gonna open up with pre-orders. What ended up happening was actually not that at all. Sony may have said that pre-orders were gonna open up tomorrow at the time, of course, uh, that they were gonna open up tomorrow, but that's not what happened. Essentially what ended up happening is that all of the retailers like Walmart, for example, and Best Buy and Target, etc., etc., decided to open up their pre-orders early. And not just an hour early or two hours early, but immediately following the event. And taking into consideration that Sony themselves had published a tweet saying that pre-orders were going to start tomorrow, I just I decided to just go lay down. I work at night, so I decided to go lay down, relax a little bit, and long story short, take some time to rest. Until I got on social media while I was laying down in bed prior to going to sleep and was starting to see a bunch of people that were pre-ordering the PlayStation 5. And as soon as I saw that this was happening, I immediately jumped out of bed and came straight to my computer and come to find out everywhere was sold out seemingly within minutes. It was absolutely terrifying for me seeing as I wanted to make content for the PlayStation 5 here for you guys on the channel, which if you guys are not already, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel because there will be PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X content coming as soon as they release. So stay tuned for that. They were all sold out. Every, you know, retailer known to man that you could imagine Target was sold out, Walmart was sold out, Best Buy was sold out, Amazon was sold out, you name it, it was sold out. And immediately following that, eBay had all of the people who hoarded all the consoles selling them for double, triple, even quadruple the price of what was suggested retail market value. This was very, very, very unfortunate for me because I don't like paying those scalpers for anything and I was tempted to do so because of the nature of what I do here on the channel. But I still, I, you know, bit my tongue. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to seclude to such ridiculous behavior by offering to pay for said consoles so i decided to wait take my time just ignore the whole situation and just whatever back up from it acknowledge the fact that i wasn't going to get a playstation 5 anytime soon and just call it a day needless to say i was pretty frustrated well long story short i kept on refreshing all of the pages and eventually i noticed that walmart updated their page to a little green 
you know, box with some text in it saying that pre-orders were going to open up at 6 p.m. Mind you, when I saw that, it was about 5 p.m. And I still kept refreshing the page over and over and over and over throughout the entire hour, seeing as it was an hour from 5 to 6, obviously. And nothing happened up until 6 p.m. where I refreshed it and it actually updated again and it had a little pre-order, uh, you know, clickable box on there so you can pre-order the console. I was ecstatic. I clicked on it immediately and the website crashed multiple times. Yep, that was my luck. Continued to, to refresh. Now it said it was sold out and I was like, oh my God, dude, this is a pain. This is crazy. What am I gonna do, right? That's literally everything that was going through my mind. I was, I was going crazy. I was like, do I have to buy a freaking scalpers? PlayStation 5 for a thousand dollars. I didn't want to do that. So I was like, nah, forget that dude. Kept on refreshing. Eventually it updated again and said pre-order again. And I clicked on it and I went through the whole buying process and eventually I ended up buying the PlayStation 5. Guys, I got a PlayStation 5 disc version here. Uh, uh, well, well, not here obviously, but I got a PlayStation 5 disc version that I'm going to be able to play here on the channel. I want to do an unboxing video for you guys here on the channel as well. So if that's something you guys are interested in, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Also, really quick before I continue on with the story, I also would like you guys to let me know down in the comments section down below what games from the PS5 exclusives, of course, that you guys would like to see me play here on the channel. Ones for sure that I plan on playing at some point. Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales is one of the most anticipated games for next gen so far that I am looking forward to. So Miles Morales and Demon Souls. Those are two games that I know for sure I wanna play. Which one I'm gonna play first, I guess I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments down below, but furthermore, what other games you guys would like to see me play. Exclusives, of course, for the PlayStation 5 down in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to suggest other games than that, definitely go into my Discord. The link is in the description down below. Click on the link. Go over to my Discord and under the suggestions box, definitely do me a huge favor and suggest video games that you guys would like to see me play here for you guys on the channel. I do take suggestions and it's a, uh, I get, you know, some of the games that I've played on the channel were from suggestions from you guys. So there's that. But to continue on with the story, when I purchased the freaking PlayStation 5, dude, bro, let me tell you, let me tell you, I couldn't believe it. I screamed like a little girl, like a little school girl off the tip of my tongue. My voice sore. My throat's sore right now. That's why I'm kind of taking a little story time here. Just, I wasn't going to make this video, but my throat hurts and I didn't really feel like talking hours at a time, you know, filming some Let's Play. So there's that. Uh, but long story short, man, I'm actually very, very ecstatic at the fact that I was able to purchase a PlayStation 5 here for you guys on the channel. Well, it's for me, obviously, but I'm gonna be able to be, make content for it for you guys here on the channel. So I would greatly appreciate it if you guys can do me a huge favor since I'm in Operation Growth, trying to grow my YouTube channel here. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed again, because it really, really does help a lot. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video, guys. I know this was just basically a boring old story time video. Never done these before, but I'm very excited and I thought you guys would like to know some of the hassles that I literally went through. I literally had Walmart's page open, uh, Target's page open, uh, Amazon's page open, Best Buy's open, and uh, I, I wanna say that was it, but there could have been you know another one. Uh, that I had open or whatever constantly refreshing every single one of the pages trying to get a PlayStation 5 So it was a it was a lot of work almost 24 hours worth of refreshing pages I'm kind of curious to find out how much internet uh, <laughs> I used up just in these last 24 hours refreshing pages But if you enjoyed this video, I'll say it again Do me a huge favor drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel as well If you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said catch you guys in the next one deuces <laughs> Thank you.